I'm Gabriella and welcome to Digital Spy. In this video, we are going to be breaking down all of our predictions for this year's Academy Awards. The Oscars are just around the corner and everyone has their favorites and their suspicions and their predictions about who's going to win. But as with any awards show for any thing not everyone can get their way so we've decided to be a little bit helpful this year and kind of look at the landscape of films and see what we think will take all the best prizes at the oscars this year um it's kind of a combination of looking at historical wins uh looking also at what uh movies have won the awards leading up to the oscars and then also just a good old-fashioned gut instinct so if you want to see if your favorites are also our predictions for winners this year. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Best Picture. So this year's Best Picture uh, prediction has to go to Nomadland. It's won the Golden Globes, it's won the Critics' Choice, but most crucially it's won the Producers Guild of America Award for Best Picture, and that has been in line with the Oscars 21 times. So it's a really good kind of indicator of what movie will go on to take Best Picture at the Oscars. But that being said, last year it did differ. The PGA gave Best Picture to 1917, whereas at the Oscars, Parasite won. So obviously there's always room for kind of a surprise, if you kind of think about it that way, which will likely kind of lean maybe toward Promising Young Woman. Um, and you also can't discount Mank. Mank is a movie about making movies, and historically the Academy has really dug those kinds of films, so you obviously can't rule that one out either. However, looking kind of holistically at it, we still think Nomadland is going to be the one to beat for Best Picture. Best Director. Chloe Zhao is definitely uh, the woman to beat at this year's Academy Awards. If she does win, she will be the second woman to win ever. Uh, following Catherine Bigelow's win for The Hurt Locker. She's also won kind of strategic awards leading up to it, uh, Critics' Choice, Golden Globes, and most importantly, the Directors Guild of America Awards. Again, that's another kind of really good indicator of who's gonna take Best Director. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll get our second woman winner. However, it is worth pointing out that uh, similarly to Best Picture, last year the Directors Guild of America gave Best Director to Sam Mendes for 1917, whereas Bong Joon-ho won for Parasite at the Oscars. So that doesn't necessarily mean that it's gonna follow suit, it's just a great predictor. Actor in a leading role. So this is probably the uh, win that we can say with almost 100% certainty. Obviously you can never actually be 100% certain, but it would be a huge upset if Best Actor didn't go to Chadwick Boseman for Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. He has posthumously won the Golden Globe, the Critics' Choice Award, and the Screen Actors Guild Award. And so for the Oscars to kind of go against that uh, would be a really big upset. Also, it's the fact that he would be winning posthumously, making him the third actor to ever do so. Um, and it would be very shocking if he didn't win. Also, he is outstanding in that role. It's one of those things where he is really one of the top nominees in that category. Like we said, he also won the SAG Award and they have matched the Oscars 21 times. So again, it's another one of those similarity things, predictions. So if it didn't line up, we would be very surprised. Actress in a leading role. As opposed to our previous category, this is one that is really difficult to predict, in part because one, all of the performances are outstanding, but two, all of the key awards leading up to the Oscars have been won by different women. Um, so Andrew Day won, Carrie Mulligan won, Viola Davis won. If we had to go based on previous awards, we would say Viola Davis for Ma Rainey's Black Bottom because she won the SAG Award for Best Actress. And again, that's the one that is most likely to predict the Oscars. The Academy also really likes, in the same way it likes movies about movies, it likes movies based on real people, as we know, you know, sometimes to, to, to its detriment, um, which is why you can't rule out Andre Day as uh, Billie Holiday, right? Because she is also playing a real person. So this is one that's really up in the air and very interesting to watch. I think everyone has their kind of personal favorite. Um, so we just have to wait and see on this one. Best Actor and Actress in a Supporting Role. This is another category where we have to look to the SAG Awards to get a sense of who could win at the Oscars. Again, it's just a predictor, so this could be totally wrong. Uh, in terms of Best Actress in a Supporting Role, our gut says it's going to be Yoon Yo Jung for Minari. Uh, she won the SAG Award. 
and likewise Daniel Kaluuya won for Judas and the Black Messiah. This was an interesting one. It caused quite a lot of um, upset because both Daniel Kaluuya and Lakeith Stanfield were nominated as Best Supporting Actors and there was no lead actor um, nominated for Judas and the Black Messiah. So it was very uh, divisive and maybe not the best move and also probably inaccurate. But then again, I think there is a bit of division in terms of people's perception of who is the lead in that film. Um, Lakeith Stanfield does an amazing job. So it, it, it's tricky to say where that's gonna fall. Unfortunately, uh, despite how much the Academy loves people playing real people. Amanda Seyfried likely won't pick up the win for Mank. Um, she didn't even get a SAG nomination, so that's probably not gonna happen, which is unfortunate because she does a great job as Mary. So those are kind of the biggest uh, wins that we can predict. Obviously, there's a lot more awards that are won at the Oscars, but those are kind of like the main ones that people really care about. Unfortunately for all the like costume designers and sound designers and editors and stuff, because a lot of work goes into making a movie amazing, right? Uh, and also it may seem like we know what we're talking about, which we kind of do, uh, but this is all total guesswork. The Oscars can be totally surprising and, and do things that are completely unexpected in very good ways and in very bad ways. So we'll wait and see what's gonna happen. And for now, if you enjoyed this video, you can always like and subscribe to our channel for more digital spy content. But for now, we're just gonna say thank you so much for watching.